I would describe myself a musician. I'm playing my music in real time. My process is really playing on hardware. I don't even use a computer. I feel much closer to bands or musicians than um, DJs. Work. live with that much hardware it drove me crazy <laughs> it's just me and my gear you know so if something goes wrong it's on my shoulders can i get a bit more reverb a bit more reverb c'est fini n'arrêtez pas la musique surtout ne me parlez pas when I'm on stage, it feels amazing most of the time. That's when I'm having fun. If you're touring alone, well, you'll be spending a lot of time alone. That's the hardest part. This kind of set, it's hard for me, the early, like, warming up. I think my music is a bit weird and trippy. So I think it's best if people are kind of like already in the trance, in the zone. Feeling nervous, very nervous. It's the first gig of the tour, so I'm nervous. But I'm happy to be here. I don't know what it is to tour as a DJ. Sometimes I'm a bit jealous when I look at DJs just showing up with their keys and I'm like, man, no sound check, no gear to carry. Sounds really fun, <laughs> but it's different. That's the job they decided to do and I decided to be a player. So I gotta play and I gotta deal with that. <laughs> like, I so much respect because I think I would just be so burnt out. <laughs> but I know that you, like, were talking about, like, your health and, like, the touring is a 
like, well, you're, so you're done after this year, Taurus. Yeah, yeah, it's my last, my last season. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> like, take the time. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, so. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> well, you know, it just happens. Season after season, and it's just of course. Course. Yeah. And then at some point you realize, like, wow, <laughs> three years have passed. And Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks no, for your safe. patience no and your time. Anytime, anytime. That's what I'm here for. Nice yeah. to meet you nice guys. Meet you. It was really nice to meet you. Congratulations, and I hope you all have much success. Take care. No, Thank you. you too. Have a good night. I really like this part. Hotel lobby, not much people, night time. Touring has been the biggest inspiration of my latest record. Playing, traveling, meeting people, working, that really shaped the vibe and the lyrics. It's very alienating, because you spend so much time alone. And then when you perform, it's the opposite. It's very schizophrenic because you're suddenly in front of a lot of people with very loud sounds, bright lights. You have this really nice, energetic back and forth with the crowd. But that lasts like an hour. After that, the cycle starts again. I mean, it's, it's not natural. We're not made to be traveling around the world, changing time zones and cities all the time. It's also hard to go back home because you feel like an alien, you know. You just, sometimes I feel like I don't belong anywhere. It's rare that I come back only for two days. That's rare. I wouldn't do it too often. That's a mind fog for me. It's also because I have so much trouble sleeping that it takes me, it often takes me a, a while to get used to where I am and fall asleep in a new bed or whatever, in a new space. I guess I don't have a job that's suited for my personality. But I didn't think about that when I started. When I have to practice for a tour, I come here every night. And I try to do my set at least two times and three times if I have the time for it. So I'm back in my studio, even if we're flying out tomorrow, because I want to reintroduce a song in my set that I felt like it was lacking, it was missing. I can't just make changes and be like, oh, tomorrow I'll do a new set and not try it. I always have to try it to make sure it works. So that's why I'm here tonight. I used to believe that my life had to be this, because this is kind of like what helped me become who I am today. I was really uh, attached to the idea of working on music all the time, practicing all the time. I was also really associating myself, like my physical body and my physical self, my spirit, to gear. I thought like this was almost like an extension of myself, but in the end, they're pieces of metal and plastic.
So once again, it's about strategic decisions. It's a lot of thinking all the time. Every time I'm extremely nervous. I've been touring for four years and I know for a fact that at some point one machine will break. Two years ago in Los Angeles, it was also the first gig of my US tour. I got in Los Angeles and my suitcase didn't follow. So I couldn't play the gig that I was supposed to play. Someone was kind enough to book another gig for me. A lot of people came and paid. I was really excited to play. <laughs> I sound checked, sounded great. And when I got back on stage for, at the time of my performance at night, I turned all my gear on and 707 turned on, but all the patterns were gone. And that was like three years of writing patterns that just couldn't play. And it really broke my heart. It was one of the worst times in my life. Oh my God, Long, right? that, it was delayed in Montreal. In Montreal. So right? we had a connection in, in Munich, okay. but the flight was delayed. So we got so on, run. we run, we got in, but not our bags. So my gear, my instruments are in Munich. Really? They're coming, but I'm playing tomorrow. Okay. So they're oh. coming tonight oh my at God. my hotel. But the lady says... It's crazy Disney. today, I don't know what happened. Everything is delayed. So yeah. we had one flight. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. it's been stressful for everyone. If it was just one person that came and really expected to hear a Marie Davidson said, I feel responsible. I really feel like I have to honor this audience and give the best that I can. But there's a lot of factors that will influence the set because it's not just playing tracks. It's, it's making music in real time. I cannot play without the hardware. I don't know what Mary's bag looked like. It might be that. Oh, really? Uh, that looks like a DJ bag. Right, is, it, is this from the airport? Oh, oh no, okay. I think he's just an IT, like coming to repair some stuff. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, we have all the instruments here, but they, some of them have special cables that are yeah. really hard to find. Yeah. So, so, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Yeah, I, <laughs> I understand. Take, it would take days to, 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 to track them down. We'll make it. I'm staying positive. <laughs> Always. I didn't know that you were playing on the beach stage. Yeah. I'm so this excited. So That's why I want to go now, even yeah. if I don't have all my gear. Yeah. I want to be by the beach. I'm, yeah, just go. I've been like here, 
not sleeping, you know, because yeah. I'm jet lag. Yeah. Yeah. Just going like crazy because yeah. we were like, the gear's not gonna come. No. I was at the hotel before, but I had to leave. But I'm waiting for my bag. Did, the, did they come? Maybe they don't come yet. So maybe they just didn't come. Ah, OK, it's not there. OK, thanks. Like, you know, it's been urgent since this morning. I don't know, <laughs> like, what at more like, I can tell you. Like, because right now, we depend on this for a live show tonight. It's already disrupting the whole day for us. So, uh, like you, it's been eight hours that it's in the truck. I don't understand. It's been eight, eight hours. Eight hours is longer than the flight from here back to Montreal. I think it's because they don't care. That's the truth. They just don't give a shit. I'm not thinking about the performance. I'm thinking about the water. I really want to get in. I can't really think about the gig because there's no gig at the moment. short. I wish I could play longer, but they told me I have to stop. So this is going to be the last one. Yeah, I'm sorry. I have more, but it's the festival life. Oh, they give me more time. 
So I'll do more. I had two more songs. But then he came to see me, and Alex, I trust him. So I'm like, shit. He's like, you have to finish in two minutes. I'm like, fuck, no. I'm playing work it at least. And then he came back, he's like, you have eight more minutes. It breaks my heart because the energy was perfect and I, I built the set, I knew it would have worked. I built the set for this, I knew where I was going and, and then because people are so careless, they're like, it's your last song. No, it's not. Give me the time that I have and shut the fuck up. Anyways, the energy was really good. It was a good set, I'm happy. This is the reward for the stress. And the moment that I play is the best. I could have went on for at least another half hour. <laughs> it was so fun. Unfortunately, I have chronic insomnia. And it gets worse when I tour. <laughs> Every tour is a challenge. When I started touring, I did not know that it would get that bad. I used to take pills, and I decided to stop because I started to be addicted. You end up wanting to take them all the time because not sleeping when you know you have things to do. The stress of like flying, doing a show. You just want to take the pill and forget about it. The shows are great though, that's the thing. The more it goes, the best the show gets. So, so yeah, that's what's keeping me going. When we got in Paris after Barcelona and Lyon, I was just like, kind of breaking down. I get in these states where I start to question everything and I hate myself. Like, I hate myself for not being able to sleep. I hate myself for not being able to enjoy the tour. You know, you're supposed to be having a great time. And I'm having a great time when I play.
Every festival that I play, I always have this thought at the beginning, I'm like, why is there that much people in the crowd? They're probably like waiting for the next act. And then at some point, people sing the lyrics and I'm like, whoa. It blows my mind every time. It's not the monitor. You want to know how I get away with everything? I work. All the fucking time. From Monday to Friday. Friday to Sunday. I love it. I work. So when I say come on, I mean come on. You've got to work with me. No, I don't want to see any fake ass workers. What I really love about playing is that for this hour that I have, past and future doesn't exist. It gives me a break from thinking it's just now. I'm in the now and that's nice. For the rest of the tour, I'm hoping to see some friends, catch up with friends, get nice crowds, good sound. I hope the gigs are good. This is the last few months that I'll be playing this kind of music, so I'm already working on a new album, but it's going to be very different. It's really exciting. Not so different, still me, but different with new people. And 
new, new vibes. I feel like traveling that much and going through this life of like a musician touring, I have so much story to tell. It's all in, it's all in my mind, I need to put it out.